polynomials in difference of two squares. When factoring using a difference of two squares, look for the following three things. One, only two terms. Two, minus sign between them. And three, both terms must be perfect squares. Therefore, that is the difference of two squares. And if all three of the above are true, write two parentheses, often and, uh, often and close parentheses, one with a positive sign and one with a negative sign, just like in that illustration. So for example, we have a square minus 16. So as you can see, a square is a perfect square and also 16 is a perfect square. And since this is difference of two squares, so between the two terms is a minus sign. Okay, so the square root of a square is a and the square root of 16 is 4. So we have positive 4 and we have negative 4. So therefore, we have now the factors are a plus 4 and a minus 4. Let us have another example. x squared minus 25. So the square root of x squared is x. Okay? So x is the, the first term. And then the square root of 25 is 5. So we have negative and positive 5. Now, we can interchange the sign. It can be positive and it can be negative. That is because multiplication is commutative. Okay? For example, 5 times 4 is equal to 20. And 4 times 5 is also equal to 20. Therefore, multiplication is commutative. Another example, we have 4y squared minus 16. Now, as you can see, we have coefficient here, 4. So, first thing to do from the, uh, our previous lesson, greatest common monomial factor. So, 4y squared and negative 16. Is there a greatest common factor here? Yes. So, the greatest common factor is 4. So, let us factor out 4. So, therefore, we have 4y squared divided by 4, we have y squared. And negative 16 divided by 4, we have negative 4. So, this time we have 4 times the quantity of y squared minus 4. Then, go back to this quantity, we have y squared minus 4. And this is the perfect square. And also, 4 is a perfect square. And that is the difference of two squares. So, therefore, we have now copied the 4, the factored out kanina. And then we have y plus 2 and y minus 2. So, the factors are 4 and the quantity of y plus 2 and y minus 2. Another example, we have... 9y squared minus 25. 9 and 25. Is there a GCF from this? None. So, let us get the square root of 9y squared. Is there a square root? Yes. And that square root is 3y. So, how about negative 25? The square root is 5. So, therefore, this is an example of difference of two squares. 
So, the factors are 3y plus 5 and 3y minus 5. Another example, we have 3r squared minus 27. Do we have the greatest common factor here? So, can we factor it out by 3? Yes. So, therefore, the GCF is 3. So, if we factored out 3, so we have now r squared minus 9. And then, r squared and 9 is a perfect square. So, what is the square root of r? So, we have r. And the square root of 9 is 3. So, therefore, the factors are 3 and the quantity of r plus 3 and r minus 3. So, don't forget to write also 3. Okay? Because that is uh, belong to the factors. Okay? So, let us have another example. We have 2a square minus 32. So, do we have the GCF here? So, are both numbers divisible by 2? Yes. Yeah, so, let us factor out 2. So, if we factored out 2, so we have now a square and 16. Is a square and 16 our perfect square? So, do we have their square root? Yes. Yeah, so, the square root is a and the square root of 16 is 4. So, therefore, we have the factors are 2 and the quantity of a plus 4 minus 4. So, do we get the factoring of difference of two squares okay so this time so thank you for listening